Hello beautiful beings and welcome to another Galactic Mayan Astrology Report. So the wave spell re reports come every 13 days. A wave spell is a 13 day cycle within the Galactic Mayan calendar. And each 13 days, God, my words aren't working. Each 13 days, I feel like I need to do some exercises for my voice. Um, each 13 days, <clears throat> we journey with another archetype. So on Tuesday, the 26th of March, which when I'm filming this is tomorrow, we go into a new 13-day process. But the one that we've just come from has been a 13-day process of the seed, which had got 10 extremely powerful days back to back. So it's really this kind of new life energy, which aligns very nicely with the eclipse and full moon that's happening today. Um, and yeah, so we're kind of <clears throat> following the yellow seed and this like birthing energy, all these like sprouting newness and the new seeds of consciousness. We then move into the wasteful process that begins on the 26th. I always have to like look and check what date is it in the normal calendar. Um, so we've got a 13 day process coming up with red earth. Red earth is a red sign and the red signs are all about like the awakening or the beginning of a journey or the start. And red earth really is energy around the root chakra. You know, if we were to kind of distill it into simplicity. So <clears throat> Yeah, I guess the first thing to speak into, and it's really interesting. Um, I've been feeling, I always feel the, the wave spell energy a little bit before it comes, I think, because I'm so tuned to it. And, you know, a big part of the red earth energy is about body, our relationship to our body. And I've been having loads of body stuff come up again recently. And I've just been and seen somebody <clears throat> that was talking about, um, their experience of body image so on Facebook and they were struggling with it and they were like asking yeah how's everybody else's relationship with their bodies and I think particularly as women there's just been such an interesting political agenda that's played out in terms of the suppression of the feminine and you know if we kind of look at the way that women throughout all cultures and all time have been treated and, you know, what the the female body is in terms of, you know, this portal for new new life. It's like a gateway. You know, the female body is the gateway to, to new life. And I know that we need the male seed, but in terms of like the growing and the actual, like the soul incarnates through the vessel of, you know, this feminine body and, that's a powerful thing you know and if women were to to own that power fuck me like nothing that would is going on on the planet at present would be going on because you know that energy would be harnessed and the beauty of the way that the feminine energy is harnessed is that it is for the good it's for the good of all it's for the greater good and yeah in terms of this political agenda you know I've thought about it many times like and bit like on this Facebook thread, everybody was chiming in with like, nope, not happy with it, don't like it, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, if women, if we were able to like harness the amount of energy that women spend slating their bodies, feeling ashamed of their bodies, we'd have a lot of power. And, you know, the amount of times where, and I know that I'm not alone in this experience, I've not allowed myself to be in a situation or have an experience because of how I've been feeling about the way that my body is looked, it is looking and what people will think about me as a result of what they see from my body and just how intertwined self-worth for women is with their body. And I know that a lot of men struggle with body image too, but I think it's a it's a different thing for the female body in that you know, top of the rung, if you're going to be worthy and like valuable and worthy of love and acceptance, you know, the, the top marker of that is how's your body? How attractive are you? How sexy are you? You know, and then all of the other pieces of your personality, all of the other pieces of what you bring to the world are secondary to that. 
But it's interesting because I don't feel that many people actually operate through that lens anymore. You know, if you were to kind of meet somebody, they it's highly unlikely that they're going to operate through, like judgy through those frameworks. And if they do, it'd be a momentary thing that was just a blink of condition and then it'd go. But we're still so held internally by that framework. And I guess, you know, there are so many, there are so many implications for that. So red, red earth really like speaks into the body and our relationship with the body. And I, I felt to just share that because, you know, body image stuff is moving for me quite strong at the minute and feels to be very strong in the field. And, you know, I guess it's just a, you know, for myself and for others, you know, how, how deeply can we <clears throat> commit to being brave enough to kind of burn off that shame? You know, how can we allow ourselves to go into these situations and, and just let it open, you know, be there, be present? Because I think that's what it does. It takes us away from the present moment. You know, it takes us away from experience. So there's that piece. <laughs> But then also within Red Earth, you know, it's the Earth. So like the woman's body and the Earth body, uh, you know, one and the same. As, you know, male bodies are the same, but like the feminine is about matter, is about, you know, physicality of body. So there's also this energy of like rooting into the Earth. And, you know, in terms of <clears throat> our connection to the, to the planet, to the soil, you know, there is an element of that. And that would be something that would be really helpful to... Kind of harmonize the next 13 days you know spending time on the land ideally without shoes or with your hands in the earth you know and just really kind of connecting the body to the bigger body because you know in the modern world we've just created more and more and more and more disconnection and we're continuing to do that with technology it's like we're just like we've kind of incarnated and then we're just like coming out of the human experience coming out of physicality and what that means is that we're kind of not in the in the oneness that is that is the earth and you know when we put our hands in the earth you know we're kind of bypassing all of that tarmac and all of the everything that's been built that's created this separation so get yourself in the garden in the woods in the sea whatever it is you know wherever you are but then there's also this kind of again just to the, the kind of root chakra energy of red earth which is about like feeling stable and safe and secure in our reality you know on the earth and you know this is something that I think you know we all struggle with and again it's just so interesting with the I've been journeying it quite a lot recently I think after not spending so much time on this land in this culture it was like I'd kind of fly in I'd have some time here and then I'd leave again I never really had that much opportunity for the conditioning of the culture and the like morphogenetic field here to really get into my being but the more time that I've spent here the more that I can see and feel it so strong and like the field here is so strong I'm in the UK um in terms of like expectation and in terms of the way that we live and like what's normal and how you should be and it's this real energetic pressure because again the field is so strong and the the island's so small and the population's so large and the screens are so everywhere and a lot of what we end up doing is in this response to they're not really feeling safe so yeah somebody might have a fucking mortgage and you know a really well-paying job and all that nonsense um, and even in the eyes of you know 3d reality be seen as like oh they're you know they're successful and we know that that's not success and that's not the marker points for anything but even within that you know if you were just to look through it in a 3d way you know a lot of the time what's stimulating that is fear you know it's like the the fear and the desperation and they're like okay i'm not happy doing this but i don't trust reality my belief system is too tight to permit me to be looked after because I wasn't looked after blah, blah blah all the stories all the rest of it where it comes from so I think we're really in this you know this time collectively of breaking down barriers and I was doing some training yesterday for people that are going to be working for esteemed and one of the things that came up was that like recognition of you know we the time that we're in now is this like we're just breaking it all apart and like whatever dimension you want to look at it 
from like everybody in their own ways, like breaking down these traditional tight polarized binary notions. So when it comes to the, the feeling of safety, it's not about how do we create the framework that then means that we don't have to trust. It's like, that isn't safety. Yeah, all right, you might be like, I know that I've got my paycheck coming in, and but on a deeper level, if that wasn't there, you wouldn't feel safe. So the question is, how do we feel safe in ourselves? How do we open? And I'm not saying, you know, that we don't need to have that like masculine energy that is in um, empowerment and like, okay, here's the, I'm going to do this, this and this, and here's the con contingency plan and I'm taking responsibility and I'm looking at everything and I'm assessing everything and there's nothing that I'm ignoring or dissociating from. Like there's a, you know, we take, we take responsibility. But the query is, why don't we feel safe? And this is kind of what comes out of all of the threads that I've already spoken into. Why don't I feel safe if my body is not looking the way that I feel it should be looking? Why do I not feel safe when my finances are whatever? Why do I not feel why do I not feel safe? Why? You know, what is that? What is the block? And I think this is the thing of shadow work, isn't it? It's like this recognition that it's not about <clears throat> this thing is a barrier in my life. It's about this is a barrier in my psyche. And it's my responsibility to transform that barrier in my psyche to then open my reality to be able to manifest what it is that I choose to manifest. So within this Red, Red Earth Wave spell, it's like a journey of safety. It's a journey of grounding in. It's a journey of like earthing. And also this other piece of like, you know, in terms of, <clears throat> again, this is something that I've been journeying quite a lot recently. Like, I don't necessarily feel that much belonging to humanity. I've never really felt that. But what I do feel and always have felt is a belonging to the earth. And if our sense of belonging and again, our sense of safety came through relationship with the earth, what a different quality that would have. And that then kind of goes back into the creature aspect. You know, animals live in a space of, yeah, they might have a fearful encounter because there's some kind of drama that's in the moment, you know, we're getting attacked or whatever. But baseline, because they haven't had the conditioning of mentality that tells them otherwise, they know that they are safe in reality, unless they've been traumatized. And I think we've got to be really honest about the reality that humanity is extremely traumatized. Humanity as a collective is extremely traumatized. Every person is extremely traumatized. So how can we have any notion of what's normal and what's okay and what we should be aiming for when we're operating from trauma? And how can there be any other mission externally right now other than to come into a place of feeling safe and clearing what has been constructed internally as a result of trauma? which then allows what's been constructed externally as a result of trauma to move as well. So, <clears throat> yeah, red earth wave spell, body, safety, descends into the earth. Realising, you know, because like when you feel into it, I belong to the earth, the energy of that is such a different thing. It's such a, like, profound, old-school, truthful clean, clean, undisputable reality. And if we keep coming back to that again and again and again and not getting lost in the, we're always going to belong to the earth. And, and then what comes from that, and this is again something else that's been kind of coming up recently, is like, then it's about advocacy. Then how we show up in the world is about advocacy for the earth, you know, is this in alignment with caring for the earth? The earth that is my body, 
the earth that is underneath my feet and all around me. And when that's the operating system, when that's the anchor, when that's the, do you call it a sail? I know that the sail is the like flapping material bit, but do you? It's the rudder as well. Those are the words for it. Um, it is a sail, isn't it? Like the material bit's the sail, but would you say that it's the sail that's the guiding bit? I don't know. I'm not a boater. <laughs> oh the brain of tangents um yeah when that is when that's how we're operating you know and, and again I think there's something in me well I know from human design ah, my hip, that there's something in me that's um a purposeful fighter that's kind of my essence and you know the idea of <laughs> standing out in a bikini at a spa with my body as it is right now to reclaim the earth <laughs> I'm a bit more like yeah fuck it I'll do that <laughs> so yeah I think it's it's also red earth gives us an opportunity to to kind of drop into the whys of our behavior but the big thing is like feeling safe feeling safe and and recognizing our limiting beliefs you know if we don't feel safe or if something feels impossible within our reality and it's something that we desire then let's explore all of the building blocks inside of us and dismantle them that say that it is an impossibility because it's you know we just get stuck in these feedback loops don't we and you know I know that I've had it with my body image for ever you know it's like I had experiences when I was young and there were things that were said that were when I was young and they've just been playing on repeat in my being continually manifesting a reality for my whole life but it's the feeling bits in shadow work isn't it it's like you know there's a how do we how do we neutralize the big feelings that feel yucky inside of us? And it's not about the action. The, the loving action follows the internal release, the internal comfort, the internal safety. And yeah, so if you're not feeling safe in your reality right now, or if over the course of this wave spell, you end up feeling a bit unsafe or a bit unrooted or things come up with home or things come up with body or things come up with money or things come up with, again, safety. Just know that you can journey it in this window as opposed to it being this thing that's coming up that's like, a, oh, this means it's true. This means it's fixed. Instead, it can be like, oh... It's interesting that I'm having that experience. It's interesting that that's playing out for me right now. And I am choosing to go on a little journey with that and to dismantle it and to unravel it and to find a new way. Coming back to Gaia. Knowing that we belong to the earth. We belong here. Even if we don't belong in our families or whatever the story is, we belong to the earth and the more that we cultivate that relationship the more everything else just melts away so i hope that you have a wonderful wave spell in this wave spell i'm moving house me and taco have got after a year of our journey we've got our home and it's also our combined sign it's red earth so it all feels very significant and very uh, very magical and interestingly this wave spell um, he was saying that the next eclipse happens on the first day of the white dog wave spell, which is the next wave spell, which is my birth wave spell. So it's interesting that we've got like this red earth energy in the middle of the eclipses. <clears throat> and again, so what I would say within that is, yeah, like home things, body things are going to be a big part of. And I guess, you know, what that comes right back to like everything does it's, it's childhood what was the what was the pattern of home that was created in childhood did it feel safe did anything happen how can you neutralize that and come to a different space of feeling at home and the same with our bodies the home of our bodies 
with the things that happened when we were younger, stories that got trapped. EFT, EFT, and more EFT. If you want free EFT, Sophia, S-O-P-H-I-A, school, S-C-H-O-O-L, on, I was going to say on fucking eBay, I'm not with it, me. Got all the shit, all the other thing that's happening is that I seem creative is moving venue. My house is upside down at the minute. Uh, on YouTube, not on eBay. Sophia School. She's got, she's great. I fucking love her. Um, and she does these like hour long, yeah, tapping, tapping sessions that have got a specific theme. But the way that she operates when she's doing EFT is that she leaves it open ended. So you're filling in the blanks all the time. And what that means is that you're then getting a really personal personalized true to your specific story EFT session and that's when EFT is most powerful it's like as opposed to it just being I'm struggling with money it's like I'm struggling with money because this thing happened and that thing happened and that thing happened and then all of a sudden when you pull those bits out it's like oh that's my story we might all have these like shared bits but when you laser focus in EFT that is the one and I also you know I'm a practitioner of EFT too um so if anybody wants to do any of that, me and Tech are going to be relaunching the uh, Grail Quest soon as well. More on that soon. But yeah, let's um, let's journey together. And yeah, just sending big love because it's fucking intense at the minute. And I feel like I've been saying that for fucking ages. But it's true. And, you know, where we are in the galaxy... We're being bathed in high vibrational photonic light. And what that means is that anything that's not that has to be purged and we're full of it. So, <laughs> happy purging! Oh, it's the golden age just to purge for a few hundred years. We've only really entered the photon belt recently. Apparently, we've got 2,000 years in it. So, uh, <laughs> look next life <laughs> no, it's all good. we've found each other at least we're here together that makes it all right doesn't it <laughs> sometimes <laughs> all right darlings happy wave spell and see you next time